greetings to all of God's people under his great heavens and his great green earth. Hey, this is Brother Al, here to talk to you about a subject that uh, may be important to some of the precious people of God in the uh, thought of why haven't I been married yet? Why haven't I been married yet? Over the years I've found that talking to a lot of the saints and uh, people of God, especially the sisters and brothers also, that there's been some concern on why I'm not married yet. And I've had the scenario play out over and over over, you know, the course of years and so it panned out to have some validity to reason why it uh, actually may be. One of the reasons I want to bring up is that God loves you and because he does love you he wants you to be prepared for the person that's coming into your life and oftentimes we're asking God for something that we're not prepared for. Uh, if you are a committed Christian, you're serious about your walk, you're serious about the relationship that you want to have and the commitment you want to make to this relationship where well, oftentimes God says okay that's true then I've got to work on you because what you may be asking me for is going to require you to be uh, disciplined and groomed in a certain area that you may not really realize uh, sometimes I know our beautiful sisters want to have a man that's got his stuff together you know he, he's, he's uh, you know not raggedy, he's, you know, able to make decisions, he's, he's got his business going on, she doesn't need him uh, uh, but to be leaning on her, and she wants one of these type of men, well, oftentimes, these type of guys are not the, always the easiest type of men to get along with, although they'd be awfully good to you, but sometimes they're not the, uh, the most lovable, Sometimes they, if they're especially in high profile positions where they may have a lot of pressure on them, demands, it takes a special type of mate to deal with that type of person. So, uh, and vice versa, even uh, some of the brothers that want uh, a certain disciplined uh, sister, uh, you know, if she's got a lot of demands and things in her life, it's going to take a a certain type of man to be able to lead and head and define a direction in that type of woman's life so God has to groom you to be in a special a special way so this is one of the reasons why I have come to the conclusion and and not just the conclusion I've actually seen the antidote to this particular problem is the reason why I know it's one of the reasons that does uh, hinder us or delay from us getting married because God wants to bring you up on a level like that. He loves you so he says I can't give them the person they want because they need to be on a certain level. It's just like if I was asking God I want to fight Mike Tyson. I want to be a great heavyweight boxer. Put me in the ring for that you know 100 million dollar purse and then he says well Al have you been practicing? Have you been uh, working out in the gym or are you learning what a professional boxer does maybe you can box on the street but do you know what they do in professional and if I don't really know that and God loves me he wouldn't put me in that ring he know I'll get hurt so but if he know I has the potential then he has to work on me till he disciplines me till I get up and get in the ring and I start uh, practicing exercising eating correctly in order for him to make that type of dream come true. This is what God does even in the case when we're asking for him to be married. When you want to be married, he's saying, all right, I hear them. But what they're asking me is not what they're ready for. So I'm going to take my time because I don't want to give them anything less than what they're capable of doing. So I've got to wait till they get on that level. And this is why a lot of times you are delayed in relationships. Sometimes we just don't see what's going on with us. And we think, hey, God, bring it on. God says, you don't get it. I got to get you together because this fellow or this lady that you're asking for, listen, they've got their stuff together. They've got, they've got 
uh, people dependent on them. They need somebody that's going to really be able to come in and bring something to the table. And also not just to the table, but be able to bring my work and make things happen in my kingdom. So you've got it, but you're not there yet. So I've got to get you to that level. So I'm going to hold off. It could be two years, three years, five years, ten years. I've seen a lot of sincere, very well-meaning sisters in the church have been there for years. And then some sister comes in, having been saved two two months, and then she's married off, and, 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 and the sisters go, what's going on? In a case like that, she didn't really care who she really had in a lot of cases. You know, she didn't have a lot of high standards, or the man that wanted her didn't have a lot of high standards. You know, she just could have looked good. She may not have had a good personality. She may not even know how to cook or whatever, whatever the things that really need to be in life. And and, and because their standards were down here, God says, well, listen, those two can hit it off. But you, your standard is here. So I've got to bring you up here. And there's nothing wrong with a high standard if it has a purpose for the kingdom of God. Nothing wrong with it at all. You know, certain disciplines are, need to be in the body so that we can uh, be more proficient in reaching out and, and helping each other. So he stops time for you and starts working on you. I want to uh, give you a real serious uh, antidote, and this is a real life situation that happened to bring uh, to light exactly what I'm saying. I had a real good friend of mine, knew perfectly all my life, went to high school together, had gotten herself together, educated, take care of business, you give her something to do, right on time, I mean, you know, we hadn't seen each other years, and I got to the church, she was there, and I got and saved. And it was a wow. She was there, hadn't been married. Her other sister was getting married off. And eventually one day she just told me, you know, she didn't know realize why she wasn't married. And I had been kind of analyzing that situation because she's a good friend of mine. And looking at her, and it finally came to me as answering the question, why isn't that? Because there was one guy that really liked it, was a good friend of ours. And she didn't really care for him that much, but he was a he was a labor type of guy, and didn't keep his hair clean. He wasn't dressed very well most of the time. His hands be dirty, you know. He, you know, but uh, he really gave her a lot of attention, and it used to f infuriate her because she was like, you know, I really want to get myself together. I really want to have, you know, the guy, you know, he just wasn't. He, but nothing wrong with him. He just wasn't on the level in which she, she really was capable of functioning and the type of man she was able backing up. So it dawned on me that this is what he saw that she attracted that type. And she would tell me oftentimes she would get these other kind of guys, you know, that was kind of half and half type felt brothers trying to come to her and talk to her. And so finally I had a good conversation with her. And, and she had never really kept herself in that professional look as far as her attire, her hair, those things, type of things. And I explained to her, I said, well, the type of man that you're looking for, sister, is looking for a certain type of package. And she got mad because she said, well, you know what, I don't want a man that if he can't see me for what I am on the inside, is what she told me, then I don't want him. I said, but let me explain something to you. Have you ever seen a very beautiful wrap package? Somebody gives you a present. You like it when it's wrapped real well, don't you? It makes you want to what? Open that package. And her being a lady, she understood exactly what I was saying. So she said, yeah. I said, that's the same thing in what you're talking about here. The type of uh, uh, man you're asking God for that's got his... Uh, levels together, he's got his drive together, he's got some direction, you know, he's accomplished some things, he may be a professional in his career or his vocation, then he's looking for somebody that has those same qualities, not just on the outside, but the inside too. He wants the whole package. This is what he wants. He works around that type of thing. He wants that. So you've got to do the same thing. And I mean, we went back and forth. But finally, she finally heard and she listened. She began to change her whole outlook of who she was as a woman. Did her hair, dressed better, start 
uh, living more or less like a, a, a wife would live at home. She was always busy in the church, just constantly going, never took time out for herself, really. I don't think it was two to three years that she was married. And she married a professional man, both in the same profession, highly respected profession also. Listen, they ended up getting married, bought a beautiful home, beautiful location. And, uh, of course, they still married today. That's been some several years ago married today of course they've had still the issues that, that uh, couples have but it's proven out that what she was asking for God took some time for, for him to get her on a level that what God could bring that person to her life because God says listen if you want this certain person then listen I got to get you together because I don't want you to have less especially if you have strong a, a strong constitution and you really real you really real with God you really don't want no mess then God says okay I can't push you higher and I can't give you lower because you're in the middle and where you at is not where you need to be for me to give what you want so it can take five 10, 15 years, depending on you or where you're at, depending on what he can do to get you ready for the person that comes to your life. The same thing for brothers that I want this type of a, a woman. Well, you know, where are you at? This was a story also that proves the same situation. A brother coming to church, he, uh, I would take him home sometime, and finally one day he told me uh, the sister that he wanted for a wife. And when he told me who he wanted, I said, man, you want her? He said, yeah. I said, man, I started laughing. I said, first of all, we got to get you a car. <laughs> and then we got to get you a job or a job and a car, however. But we got to get that first if you're talking about her. Very well, uh, uh, you know, sister had, you know, not foolish, had been in the church a long time herself, was content, knew how to carry herself. And this guy wanted to marry her. He would dress and wear nice suits but personally he had some other things he had to have on a level in order to get together in order to address that type of uh, a sister God couldn't just give him that because that's what he wanted he had to prepare him also this is why I realize a lot of sincere sisters are in the church and it seems like you're getting passed over it's a catch-22 with you you got some things on the inside you may have to get together and you may have some things on the outside as a brother you may have some things on the inside and you may have some things on the outside and God says until I can get you there I cannot give you what you want and I will not give you less because you are sincere until he can get you to focus in on lifting you higher he has to just wrestle with you and that can be years so my challenge to you is this ask God what do I really need to do to be prepared to have the type of person I want ask him don't get an attitude if he tell you man you got to get a job or you got to brush your teeth or sister he says you got to get bitterness out of you or you may have some hurt you may have some anger from past relationships that he has to deal with in order before he can bring that don't get mad if those things happen because he's only have you in best interest he will not give you anything less now a lot of times you'll see people come in and get married as I mentioned before and they'll get married off very quickly because their standards are not high he says listen their standard is here their standard is there let them have at it and it's more common for that to happen than it is for those that are sincere in the Lord you are not uh, hurting yourself by not having somebody because you're not prepared believe me you want to be prepared before that person comes into your life and you want that person prepared for you this is how God works oftentimes I find out instead of God just giving you what you want also he also meets needs of the other I got this beautiful sister over here I got this beautiful brother over here this brother needs help and I'm going to send them this beautiful sister to help him along this sister over here is beautiful she needs a mate and she's got some things that are going to be great for the kingdom of God she's going to you know be one of these solid 
uh, sisters good, be able to help in the home, help the children, help young sisters you know be ladies and all of this so I'm gonna give her a man that will push her in that direction so he meets needs as well as just wants this is your best marriages remember God said when Adam was made he said it was not good for him to be alone that he would make a help meet suitable for him therefore God said there was a union I had to have these two people to work God had given Adam a specific duty to do and he was the CEO of the earth he said I'm going to bring along somebody to help him do it so they had a mandate for God to work for him from the beginning and so he met not just a desire that Adam had he met a need that he had so your desire sometimes may not be what your need is until God can make your desire and your need the same then he holds you off but don't be mad if that's happened in your life. You've done better by waiting to this moment to get that straight than it went through a lot of failed relationships and marriages just to find this out. God uh, does love you. Uh, I'll give this one short uh, encounter I had with another good friend of mine I had for years, a young lady that had been single and was thinking about getting married. and. At times, she admired a very prominent uh, pastor. I, if I mention his name, you would know nothing negative about him. And she admired him and his wife. And But she told me something that really stood out to me. She said, uh, he had a mega church, still has it today. I mean, major, major me mega church. She looked at him, and then she looked at his wife. And she said, you know what? I bet you he is something to deal with. This is what she's telling me from a woman's standpoint. You know, that kind of guy is probably, you know, uh, an A-type is what she's saying. You know, an A-type personality, driven, wants things specifically done at a certain time, and this, that, and other. And she said, I bet you he just probably gives her a time. She says, but for a man like that, it's worth it to put up with it. She says, it's worth it. When I realized that she said that God was really preparing her if she decided to really marry and to be in that type of arena with that type of individual because he was dealing with her showing her where you need to be in order to, to, to be in line with that also some brothers want you know a high profile uh, young lady and you know there's some things that he needs to have together if he's going to be in her life and help her stay in that area and be effective uh, you know as a woman a mother or you know whatever vocation she has he has to have certain things together so God has to work on him to get him there don't take these things lightly because God does love you if you just won't slick you could have had him a long time ago and you know that because God has blocked you from him he's came after you before if you just wanted you know uh, miss hips brother you know you could have got her because she came in but you said no I want something better so God says all right then we're going to get you up on that level so that when your better comes you'll be ready hey listen this is brother Al and I want you to know that God does love you until next time, keep a smile because it told me one time, just because you don't see the bus coming doesn't mean that it's not on its way.